As always, welcome to the third annual WGCI Music Summit. We've been dropping gems all month long, and I am so excited tonight because pull up in my her best dress. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Hey, Let me tell you, sweetie, I, you understand. I'm so excited to be talking to you. I am. It, this panel tonight is about female bosses, and I feel like you are the perfect representation of that. Got to show love to our sponsor, Hennessy. Never stop, never settle. <laughs> you know, somebody got to pay for this conversation, girl. I know, that's right. <laughs> I, know, I know. Get down. We don't do nothing but break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's get into it. Before I get into the just whole um asking what you're gonna drop for us, I wanna just say as another female watching you soar, I'm so happy for you. I Thank feel you. like some for some people, quarantine has been like a blessing. And I feel like you're one of those people that have been definitely been blessed during quarantine because I always knew of you, but this is the year that I'm like really like following you every day on Instagram. I'm like, oh, okay, 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 tap in. <laughs> Do you feel, did, did, did you feel a switch yourself this year, even though we're locked in, but it seems like to me, your career is kind of going to the next level during this year. Um, thank you. I definitely noticed it. And it was definitely intentional. I was like, how do I, you know, especially in quarantine, no more festivals, no more concerts, no more meet and greets. How do I still entertain my fans? So I figure out creative ways to do it through social media. And I'm so happy that the world is enjoying it. Yes, it definitely has worked. So let's just begin there. Um, female bosses, you know, I, I've, I've been following you, like I said, and I know you have this whole thing on on um, YouTube actually, called, mm -hmm. is it the IC University? So yeah. is it, okay, because I think when you're as beautiful as you are, because you know, you come with the beautiful package, but you're also intelligent, you're a college graduate. Do you feel like sometimes you have to make sure people could take the looks of your, your beauty off and just take you serious as a female boss? Um, definitely. Um, I've been dealing with this my whole life. I remember trying out for the volleyball team and then thinking, oh, she can't play sports. She just wants to be here to just, just wear, the, to wear the uniform. But in all actuality, like I played football, I played basketball, I ran track and I played volleyball. So there's definitely a misconception, but just like with any female, we definitely break glass ceilings and we, we break any negative perceptions. And I feel like we have to do that and we continue to do that. So that's what I'll continue to do. It's so crazy that no one would ever believe that being beautiful would be a crutch. You know, right. like, right. <laughs> no, one would never think that. no one would think that, oh my God, they think it's all glitz and glamour, which, you know, it is glitz and glamour, but yeah. no one would ever think that that part of it, people not taking you serious because you're so attractive. Um, let's talk about how we even got a music game because, you know, I started looking at them and is it true that it's all because you started rapping in a car? You were like, car raps was your beginning to the music industry? Um, to be honest, what really sparked my interest is I'm so competitive and I like competing with boys. So like, I remember in my Algebra 2 class, the boys was back there freestyling and I was like, well, okay, I can't freestyle, but I'm gonna go home and write a rap. So I went home, came back Algebra 2 class, came in and spit my bars and I killed them. And I was like, it was like a, a very, uh, like an epiphany for me. It was like a, okay, I want to do this. Like, it felt so good in that moment. So ever since then, I've been interested in doing music. So I think that's what kind of sparked my interest. And because I couldn't afford studio time, I was rapping in my car. Oh, so now was this high school sweetie or college sweetie? High school sweetie was algebra two. College sweetie was icy girl in the car. Couldn't afford the studio. So I was posting my videos on social media to let people know that I wanted to rap. <laughs> <laughs> The, the reason I asked that because you knew in high school you wanted to be a rapper, but you made the decision still to go to college. Yes. Um, tell me about that because I'm a college graduate too, but you mm -hmm. know, a lot of rappers don't have college degrees or didn't go to college. Even though in high school, like you said, you had the bug that you knew that's what you wanted to do. You still decided to go to college. Why? Girl, to be honest with you, I didn't want to go. You didn't so want to go to college? No, I had, I had no offers to do music. So I'm like, okay, either I'm going to stay you know, in Northern California and try to make it, or I'm gonna go to school. But I chose to go to school to, occup to occupy my time. Right. So I definitely um, am grateful that I went, but it was definitely a, my mom talking about, you better go to school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so your mother had the influence and you graduated, correct? I graduated from USC. Mm -hmm. oh, that is so good. 
Thank it. you, girl. Yeah, I am so happy for you. So let's talk about the female rap game because there was a time when I felt like we didn't have enough female rappers. Like literally it was Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. Now I'm happy to say there's a whole bunch of female rappers that yeah. are successful. And I think that was always what female rappers had to prove. There could be more than one. You know, mm -hmm. we can have Nicki, we can have Cardi, we can have Meg Thee Stallion, we can have Mulatto, we can have Sweetie, and right. we can all be successful. There's 7 billion people on this planet. There's right. somebody for everybody. How excited are you right now for the female rap game? You know, I'm so excited because I feel like women need different representations. They need different people to identify with. And the fact that I'm even put into that conversation means so much more because I remember being in high school, thinking about all the girls who I grew up looking up to and just admiring them. So I'm just so grateful. I love it. Now, people that are watching, they want advice from Sweetie. So what suggestion? And I know you're good at this because I don't got the law of attraction, girl. I'm going to give me an A-figure. Um, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. You gonna get one, girl. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Say you gotta be at the right places. You gotta. It's the energy you have. Don't right. be no arm candy. You a soul food plate. Look, I took my note, sweetie. I got it. I know that's right. <laughs> so for the girls watching right now who want to be, let's say, a rapper, what would you say to them? Um, I definitely say it takes. A lot of work and it's not as easy as it seems you know I feel like some people times people think it's just the wigs the glamour the photo shoots the music videos but honestly it's a lot of like not sleeping working 24 7 creating a healthy stable team and environment around you I feel like you know what I feel like the, te the team is the key to success because it takes a village to to create something so great so I feel like it definitely starts with base so make sure you have great management great label and great just business acumen so that you can move because it's one thing to have a hit but if you don't have the right team working it or supporting you or if you're not right in your mental health like everything can fall apart really quickly you know sweetie let me tell you something because i get it when i watch you i saw for halloween you did a tribute to destiny's child and you you show homage you played the role of all the girls people understand pretty is a tired job because you got change wigs you got change makeup you got go to the gym to make sure the body tight like i get it like people don't understand because as a girl myself that got a whole bunch of wigs, that's why I love the video with Janae Aiko. I was gonna show you my wig heads because I was like, oh, sweetie, my type of girl. Cause I got my closet just like that too. Looking like right. an old beauty salon. But it's a lot of work and people don't realize that they just see the end product, which might be like a minute Instagram video or how about even like a, a 10 second real interview but they don't realize I got my makeup done. I got my hair done. I had to have the body right. There's so much goes into it. So I'm so happy that you said that. No, no, for real, girl. I remember when I first got into the music game, I'm like, yes, I get glam all the time. But now, girl, I get glam four to six hours a day. Nails, hair, everything. So it's just kind of like, it's it's tiring. I have to get up 7, 8 a.m. I'm in glam and I work until like one o'clock in the morning and we just do it all over again. But, you know, um, I have to stop myself from complaining because I wouldn't have it any other way. So I try to be grateful and I try to thank God. So it's just like, I wouldn't be doing anything else. So sweetie, do not complain, girl. Put on your game face. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I think that so much time is dedicated because, you know, truth be told, appearance is big in this industry. Do you, do you feel as though, you know, just for the girls are watching how they look, does that matter when it comes to them being successful in the music industry? I feel like depending on what your brand is, yes. So if if your if your brand is super glamorous, that's what people are expecting. But if you have a more chill vibe, I feel like you should always remain true to self. Like, don't get me wrong. There's interviews where I do show up with my little glasses on, my little office glasses and my no makeup because I just don't have time that day and I'm comfortable with that. I feel like people should always be comfortable with what they see their self being or doing. So. For, for, for some stuff, I'm like, I might tone it down a little bit, but if I'm hitting that red carpet, they want to see Sweetie Beat. So I'm going to come Sweetie Beat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you give it to them, girl. You give it to them. You, you have the face that can wear all different color wigs. Everything Thank looks you. good on you. When I saw the, the short haircut, I loved it, but I said, I hope it's a wig because I like the glam. I like <laughs> <laughs> but what, no, it, it's a wig, right? The short hair? No, girl, I really cut my hair. Just a wig right now. You really cut. So your real your hair is really that short right now. Yeah, girl, that's a wig. So then, okay, that's a wig. I know that's a wig, but I felt like the color pixie was a wig too. No, girl, I'm just I just cut it all off. Girl, just cut it off. 
I don't know whether to believe her or not. <laughs> I gotta see. Lift up the lace for her. Let me see if I see some pink or some purple. Then I can know if, if it's pink and purple under, then she really could have. This is all real you know what's so dope about you though, sweetie? And I think a lot of artists are doing this because Meg Thee Stallion just dropped the album, but she's been out for almost like two years, for us anyways. Mm -hmm. You don't have an album out yet. Mm -hmm. Like you have songs. I love like, I came in singing, pull up in my hub, best dress. Hey, that song in the beginning starts off so fly. Uh, with Janelle Eco, of course, Icy Girl, Tap In, no actual album. So when is that coming? I would say first quarter. I feel like your debut album is really like, it's a big deal and I don't want to rush it. Um, I was supposed to drop it this summer. Um, I was supposed to drop it in November, but I, well, yeah, this, this month, but I was just like, I don't think it was ready. I like to make sure that everything is prepared and I want to be prepared because it'll be like my debut to the world. So I'm working on it. Yes. Okay. So maybe next year? First quarter. Definitely. Oh, first quarter. Okay. First quarter for sure. First quarter for sure. Girl, you know, we got to talk about the Birkin bag. <laughs> <laughs> Let's you know, talk about it. <laughs> I, I, listen, I guess what you that's the reality of your world, right? Do you ever have any regrets of that little short video of you saying, if he ain't got a Birkin bag, put him back to the streets? Do you still stand um, by that? No, I don't. I don't regret it. And you know why I say I'm an entertainer. I was, I say enter entertaining things, but I feel like the Birkin bag is very symbolic. I remember when I was going to USC San Diego State, I couldn't afford a Birkin bag and I was dating, and I wasn't dating somebody who, could afford a Birkin bag, but I feel like a Birkin bag is symbolic for just pampering, for gifts. I feel like women, period, because I feel like women are just magical creatures. We deserve to get spoiled with gifts, with energy, with loyalty, with your time. So I definitely feel like it got taken out of context. But if you know me, if you if you follow up with me, you know I like to have a good time. I be playing around. So I know it was a short sentiment, but the sentiment is women deserve to get spoiled. Period. <laughs> I love that. Now, do you think, now you do preach this, but I think people don't talk about it enough. You also do preach that women be bosses themselves and have yeah. their own money. Yes, of course. And then I think that it's okay for us to get spoiled and we can spoil ourselves. So that's, that's, that's all I was saying, girl. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you were saying, girl. I know, I love it. We know you're in a high profile relationship, but you got your own, you know, Sweetie is a brand by herself. Whether mm -hmm. Quavo next to her, no, I mean, Quavo Q, he good, all that stuff. But Sweetie, Sweetie, do you feel like sometimes, um, cause I, I feel like people sometimes try to be like, oh, Quavo helps her when it comes to her rap career. But I feel like, if he my man, he's supposed to help me. Like, isn't that what like my man's supposed to do? I feel like Jay-Z helped Beyonce to a certain degree. Isn't that what your, your partner's supposed to do? I feel like it's definitely the art of reciprocation. You know, he asked me for advice. I asked him for advice. So I will never discredit, you know, his support system. So I have a lot of people who helped me get to where I'm at because I couldn't do this alone. So I want to thank him for always being a full-time supporter. How did you find like the only kind of Christian, not Christian rapper out there that's like faithful girl that got money. <laughs> Let me tell you, because there ain't too many Quavos out there. You know, every every day we hear about somebody and they man and then the man buying him a Bentley. We ain't never hear nothing about Quavo because Quavo, no, he can't. Because we, you have, I'm going to tell you something right now. I told one of my friends I was interviewing today. He said, oh, she's so fine. Quavo better never mess up. <laughs> Girl, I just don't play that. I really don't. But besides that, I feel like we come from like similar backgrounds. I was raised in the church. She was raised in the church. Like my grandma loves him. So I'm very thankful that I have me one of them. Yeah, like you gotta add that to the prayer too, because you got the you got the hip hop Russell Wilson. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now Look, I know y'all been spending a lot of quality time together because we're stuck in the house. What else are you gonna do? And you're a very sexy girl. So well, I, I don't know if you want to pill. I'm not trying to be in your business. Well, I hope we gonna have no quarantine, baby, sweetie. What we, what we gonna do next year, like six months from now? You How mean? you making sure we don't get a quarantine baby? Well, you know what? I do want to have babies, so. Oh. I want to have like three or four. Three, that means we gotta start soon. So could we start next year? Girl, we gonna see, y'all gonna see. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> But 
You know, I was joking, but on another note, see, I've been in this industry now for 20 years. And I remember there was a time you couldn't like have your career and be pregnant. And I feel like Cardi B actually, I think is one of the girls who really broke that barrier down because she came out with her debut album while she was pregnant with Coulter. Right. So maybe you could have two, two big packages next year. <laughs> there are definitely some things I want to accomplish um, before I do have kids. Because what I will say is I want to be able to give my kids that my undivided attention. I had really young parents, so I was always being babysat by other people and they did their best to give me their all. But I really want to make sure I'm at a stable point in my life. So, I mean, we're going to see what God has in store for me. Yes. We'll see what God has in store. Listen, if, if a baby bump come out two months from now, you ain't telling me right now, I'm going to get you. I mean, don't, don't, you, I better not see you, you better not be on Instagram, like, like some oh, walk around, and you ain't telling me in this interview, we're going to have problems. I want to go back to your mom. Your mom is fine. She was in videos back in the day. Thank you. Yes, yeah, she was. That's see that your mother, when I saw that, I was like, okay, this is a line. So that's because remember the beginning a second ago, you said your mother said you had to go to college. Mm-hmm. So was she ever, when she knew you wanted to be a part, a part of this industry, and obviously she was once involved in the video scene of it, did she try to stir you away from it or did she encourage you to be a part of it? Um, she kind of just encouraged me to get to the bag. So she was just kind of like, she gave, she, she's a very realistic person. So she was like, not a lot of people make it in that. If that's what you want to do, then I hope you make it. But if not, here are some other jobs that pay really well. So she was just kind of like a, I believe in my baby, but I'm scared for my baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, that makes sense. And speaking mm -hmm. of the bag, I know you had a fashion partnership with Pretty um, pretty Little Things. Mm -hmm. So would you ever just have your own sweetie line? I think you should definitely do a makeup line. Oh, yeah. I'm working on my makeup right now. I'm working okay. on a fashion line. Girl, I'm working on a lot of things. I'm trying to get them different streams of revenue, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think that would definitely be great for you because, like I said, people watch you just to kind of see your makeup, your eyelashes, and mm -hmm. that would be easy money because I'm starting to learn that the reason Kylie Jenner is a billionaire because it don't cost that much to get lip gloss. <laughs> right? Right. You got to make the other girls feel pretty, and that's what I like to do, Okay. I love it. I love it. So for those watching, are there any gems you want to leave them with in particular that we didn't cover? Just like advice from Sweetie. Um, Advice? I would just say, you know, I feel like a lot of attention is being brought to it, but mental health is a real thing. You have to say no to, you know, to preserve your energy, to preserve, you know, your, your just everything. So I feel like saying no is a good thing sometimes. So do you, do you say no a lot? I do. No. You do? No. <laughs> did you but but did you learn that did you learn to were you in the beginning like let me do everything I gotta do and now you just say you know I'm gonna do what's best for me yeah I talked about this in an interview before and I like and I like to talk about it it was a very vulnerable point in my early career and I still feel like my career is early but I remember I was saying yes to everything just because that mindset of team no sleep um just working all day like you know that I feel like they glamorize working all day and not getting any sleep, but you know, we're not robots. We do need sleep. And I remember one time I was on an important set and I had a mental breakdown in front of the camera because I just couldn't work anymore and I wasn't sleeping. I was literally team no sleep and full glam, bloodshot, eyes bloodshot red and just shaking because I wasn't getting any sleep. So, you know, really take care of yourself, pray, recharge, and really take showers and just keep the hygiene and, and keep you know, and get sleep because your body needs that rest. Right. Yes. So much more to come. Is there anything, you know, you learned the lesson of Tino sleep. Is there anything in your career that you could do over, you would do over if you could? Um, you know, there's a lot of things that I would redo over, but what I will say is a lot of mistakes that I learned prior to me being who I am today, um, definitely made me a lot wiser and it made me a stronger businesswoman because you know, I felt like I didn't have the proper guidance. I didn't have a, a mentor. So I made a lot of mistakes publicly, as you've probably seen a lot of viral moments. So, but instead of letting it break me, it made me. So I think I'm just smarter, wiser, and sharper now. But yeah. so, I mean, sometimes it was embarrassing, but now I'm thankful because I'm like, now you can't get me again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And one last, you know, I host a dating show over the weekends on Friday and Saturday night. So I'm going to have to get Lee to see if we can get you to tune in one day. But one last thing before you go, for the females that are watching, we clear up the whole Burkitt thing. And you got to be a special girl. 
I have, in my experience, a lot of times men with money are not always the most faithful men. Not talking about your Quavo, but if a girl is dating a guy that's not faithful but got money, do you mm-hmm. recommend she stays with him or leaves? Leaves. Le- okay. Leaves. I just, I feel like I said, I just, I just touched on mental health, and I just feel like, you know, there's different versions of selling your soul. Sometimes it's not always to the devil. You can sell your soul to the man. So it's just like, I, I believe in, in health, mentally, physically. And for me, I mean, I'm not okay with being cheated on. If, but if somebody is okay with that, then that's their own game to play. But I definitely, for my opinion, um, I believe women deserve proper love, proper time, proper energy. And if he's not faithful to you and he's giving your, his energy elsewhere, he's bringing that energy back to you. So I definitely don't recommend that. Okay, all right, ladies. No matter how much money he make, if he... If he's sticking it in somebody else, he can't stick it in you no more. That's the advice. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. I know that's right, girl. <laughs> Listen, you are a joy. Keep going. We can't wait till quarantine opens up. How are you dealing? I know you're doing good, but how are you dealing with just being in the house, this new world we're living in? How do you feel about it? Um, it's scary because I'm just wondering when outside will ever, ever open back up, but I'm thankful for this time to get some downtime because I was on the plane almost every day and that was just like, you know, so I'm really thankful to just recharge, but hopefully, you know, I, I don't want to be insensitive to the people who are affected by COVID. So it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely a scary time. Yes, it is. It is. So you guys got to be careful. Um, I, but you're in beautiful California. I say anywhere you got to be quarantined, California is a place because the weather is right. still good. And you could be by the pool in sexy bikinis like you just be walking by the pool. I'll be watching, sweetie. I'll be like, I'm going to the gym. I was going to eat, but not today. Not this yeah. not You today. look good, though. You not look good, though. Video. Well, girl, that's because it's a Zoom. And, you know, we got a green screen, you know. <laughs> No, I'm not, I keep it together, but you definitely motivate me to make sure I always keep it on point. We can't wait for you to come to Chicago. We appreciate your time. We know you are a busy woman and just more to come. The album next year and maybe baby. Uh, maybe baby. Great. Maybe I, baby. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. Keep, make, keep making us laugh and keep entertaining us. And thank you for always not taking yourself that ser- too serious because I watched the funny post that you put on your um on your Instagram page as well too. Oh, thank you, girl. Thank you, Kendra. You are bomb and you are a joy to talk to as well. Oh, you are a joy to be with. I've really had a good time. Like you really, sincerely, you're one of the people that really caught my eye the most during quarantine. I could tell you the post, girl, you had your hair slicked back. It was like, some people like, these are just iPhone pictures. This ain't even professional. How the hell my iPhone don't, don't take pictures like that. I got to get a real professional guy with lighting. Sweetie can just walk by, turn around, drop the coat on the floor, and then it's just 3 million views. I feel like, well, <laughs> Thank you, girl. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, so keep it going. So proud of you, sincerely. And I'm going to meet you in person. I'm in LA all the time, so maybe we'll find a way to link up. Okay, girl. Dinner on me. Oh, well, shit. I'm coming this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> We ain't saying dinner, all right. I won't go to Crustaceans. I won't go Nobu, Malibu. Oh, uh, oh. I, no, but wait, it's in Malibu. What's it? Um, Maestro's in Malibu, oh. off the off the river. Look, you said I, you said you want expensive, right? I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you spend that money, sweetie. Oh, okay, girl. Okay, okay. <laughs> you ain't know I do the restaurants. <laughs> Yo. well, you deserve it. You deserve it. <laughs> I thank you. Hi, everyone. It's the Music Conference with Sweetie. Listen, watch her. She is just growing in her career, and we will continue to support her right here in Chicago on 107.5 WGCI.